All right, welcome to video number two on my DIY reef channel. With this first longer video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite corals, which is my open brain coral. So you can see here, it's down in the lower right hand side of the tank. I'll go ahead and label it for you with some red lettering. It's right below the red lettering here. This coral is a native to the Pacific Ocean. Many are found in the reefs around Indonesia and the Great Barrier Reef around Australia. Very common, uh, very common coral, very popular. Uh, this is what's referred to as a large polyp stony coral, which means it has a stony skeleton and large fleshy polyps. So let's dive in here and we'll take a closer look at my brain coral. Okay, so here's my brain coral. The proper name for this species of coral is Lobophilia. I just call it open brain coral. Uh, like I said, it's a very cool coral. It grows pretty large. It has an almost iridescent coloring to it. It has a little movement to it. It's just a really fantastic looking coral. On this photo, you can see there's a lot of blue light hitting it, which really brings out those colors. Another really cool thing about this coral is how it actually eats. It'll deploy feeder tentacles. If I zoom in here a little bit, you can see it's starting to actually deploy some of those little feeder tentacles, and throughout the day, it'll deploy them more and more. Here's that coral when I first got it. See here, it's it's a lot smaller, obviously. It's a little unhappy. I just dipped it, put it into an anti-parasite dip. And uh, we've got another photo here where this is later that same day. You can see it, it got a little happier, but still a lot smaller than it is today. And for comparison, here it is again today. Uh, like I said, very cool coral. It'll actually deploy those tentacles and eat. I'll show you that here in a second. And uh, luckily enough, the smaller critters like snails... And crabs don't seem to go near it, don't get sucked up by those tentacles. Now here's some other color varieties of Lobophilia. As you can see, there's some pretty good variation out there for what this coral has to offer. Here's a larger one from the wild. They get actually a lot bigger than this. Hopefully mine will be this big in the tank someday. Here we are at night. You can see uh, the coral senses it's nighttime. It starts to deploy those tentacles more and more. I just woke them up with the white lights. You can see those tentacles starting to come out. Here he is about an hour later. You can see those tentacles are all out. and This thing's definitely ready to eat. So let's go ahead and start feeding it here. So I use a syringe to target feed it. That way all the uh, freeze-dried shrimp that I'm feeding it don't just get all over the tank and get caught in crevices and go start rotting places and fuel algae blooms. By target feeding like this, I can make sure that just the coral is getting it. Um, the little stuff that does escape, the cleanup crew will get. Um, you'll see later on in this video here, you'll see some of my cleanup crew members coming to get some goodies. And here you can see it's starting to take that food in. Those little tentacles are grabbing those little bits of food. And the coral just kind of almost starts folding over on itself. It senses that it's getting fed. And it just folds all that food into its mouth. I try to do this two, three times a week between my wife and I. Sometimes we're not as good as we should be. Here we are. This is about a minute or two later. You can see a lot of that food, probably about half of it, has already been pushed into the mouth. There's still a little bit. You know, it's an inevitable some of it gets off into the water column, and that starts bringing all the my nighttime feeding crew. This this is about 10 o'clock at night that this is happening here. My tank lights have been off for about an hour or two. And you can see the first scavenger arrives. It's a blue leg hermit crab. And he seems to know, like, that the snails, the crabs, they just seem to know to not get too close to that. I don't know if they get stung and then back off. You can see here. He's going for that food, and then he realizes he's going to get eaten if he goes in there, so he backs out of there. That's a Nesneria snail. Some more of my troop of blue leg hermit crabs coming to try to get some free snacks. I'll zoom in here. You can see it's an emerald crab. I've only got one of him in the tank right now. He's another nighttime feeder, so I'll see him at night when I feed the corals. This cleanup crew is really important for keeping my tank clean. Oh, the little guy just fell off the ledge. They're just scrambling. But yeah, they really keep the tank clean, keep the algae down, they eat, eat food that would otherwise decompose and fuel algae blooms. So that's it. That's the 
open brain coral. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, next time I'm going to showcase my plumbing system in this tank that I designed. It's pretty simple. I'll show you guys the plumbing system and then I'll also show you how to cement and attach PVC pipes. So hopefully you enjoy that. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.